Hey there! After solving the Tetra Spiral puzzle, which was amazing by the way, I decided to ask the puzzle designer Lucy Powells if she can create a more difficult version of it. And she did. So today I'm gonna attempt to solve the Hexa Spiral puzzle, but first I have to make it. And as always, I have a new laser engraver and cutter. Today it is Zby 2 z 40 It comes in a huge box and to make it more safe for the laser that is inside, they decided to add some plastic part to the corners. In five years, I saw a lot of damaged boxes, so these plastic corners are a smart move. Zbyto Z40 comes pre-assembled and it is the first laser engraver that I received that doesn't require any assembling. You just remove it from the box and you're almost ready to go. The machine has a very neat look, there are no wires, everything is hidden inside the frame and not even air assist pipes are sticking out, so everything is well packed inside the frame. The only assembling that is required is to put the laser module. Next to you attach the air assist pipe and the power cable. I'm not a big fan of this situation here since the power cable and the bolts that are holding the laser are next to each other and if you need to move the laser up or down the wire is on the way and it's difficult to rotate the bolt. The machine comes with its own honeycomb, actually it's not a honeycomb, it's 484 small bolts sticking out and you actually put your wood or anything that you want to engrave or cut on these bolts and you do the job. If you want to engrave something big or you want to uh, clean the table of the machine, you can easily remove it and then put it back. There are a set of magnets that are coming with the machine, you can use them to hold the object that you are engraving. As I already mentioned, the machine comes as one piece, so all the belts, all the wires are already assembled and they're placed very neat inside. There is a drag chain goes on two sides of the machine and it holds all the wires inside. It gives the machine a very nice look when there are no wires sticking out to all the sides. Zbyto Z40 has three buttons, power button, the emergency stop button and the third button that has a couple of different functions. You probably noticed there is a huge hole on the back side of the machine, which looks quite weird, but it's quite a smart feature. There is a pipe that comes in the box with the machine, you attach it to this opening and at the end of the pipe there is a small fan. You can turn it on and all the smoke, all the fumes will be removed from the machine. And to prevent the smoke from going up from the machine, you will find that there are two pieces of orange acrylic in the box. You can put them on top and they act as a lid. First of all, they prevent the smoke from going up. Second, they kind of make the machine a little bit less noisy and also they protect your eyes. Zbyto Z40 is equipped with Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work with light burn, so I'm gonna use a USB cable. Now the machine is almost ready, you just have to plug the air assist, the pipe, USB cable and the power cable, push the power button and now we are ready to do some tests. So to test the machine and the material that I'm gonna be using for the puzzle, I decided to cut a couple of circles with the settings engraved on them. After a couple of tests, I noticed that the circles are not perfect, so I decided to check the belt. It was very easy to tighten the belts. You unscrew the left bolt, then you tighten the right one and then screw the left back, and then you use these two bolts to tighten the belts that move the laser module. After this small correction, the machine worked as a charm. The next test went perfect and I decided to cut my puzzle. Since the machine has everything you need for a successful project, like air assist, honeycomb, you just have to press the button, make sure your design is made in the correct way and just wait for the result. The result was perfect, the laser went through the wood like hot knife through the butter and well, what I have to do now is to solve the puzzle. If you like this buy to Z40 and you want to have it for your projects, link will be in the video description and if you want to see my attempt to solve the hexa spiral puzzle, keep watching the video. So now it's time to see if the hexa spirals is any harder than the tetra spirals. We have six 12 parts and they are much bigger in the previous puzzle all parts were like made from four pieces but here they are much larger more different shapes and what's interesting not all of them are exactly the same like you can see this part has this kind of a shape but this one has a longer part here and here so that's something new and something different so let's try to find the obvious parts like this is a corner piece this is a side piece probably it will be here or here this is a side piece as well maybe it will be somewhere here maybe it's, it will be on top this looks like a side piece as well unless there are some tricky spots where the side piece goes in the middle 
I don't know. This looks like a corner piece. Probably it will be somewhere right here. Another side piece. Mm, it will be difficult to find where to put this piece since there are too many side pieces, I guess. Okay, the rest, maybe this one is a side piece as well. But where to put it, I don't know. Oh, this one is definitely not a side piece. Not a corner piece. Maybe a side piece, but not a corner, since there is a cutout here. I didn't notice it. There is a hint here, since there is a different part. Maybe I have to find a part that I can put here. There are not so many. Like I can put this one, I can actually put this one, but then this piece is blocked. So it's definitely not the right one that I'm looking for. This is not correct. So maybe this piece, let's see other parts that have something similar. Uh, this won't fit. And maybe, no, this one definitely is not possible to fit here. So there are not so many parts that I can actually put right here. Maybe this one. Oh, maybe this is not a side piece. Maybe it will be somewhere in the middle. Mm, that can be tricky. Let's try just to find what will be the next piece right here. Some kind of, oh, oh, something that goes here. But what's interesting here can be any part since you can put these two parts together and then maybe, oh, maybe this is the correct one. Let's see, there is another one, long piece that I can put here. Or maybe, maybe, I don't know if it's possible. I Oh no, that's not possible for sure. Okay, so this looks nice. Maybe this is the starting point. Let's see what else I can do. Oh, I could, no, I don't think. This is correct since there is too much space left here. What about this piece? Ah, I thought that I can put it here. No, it doesn't really fit. Oh, ah, no, it doesn't fit because of this tricky part. I thought this will fit nicely and create a nice corner, but I was wrong. Maybe this piece is not belong here. Why I'm putting it in that spot? It can be anything here. Not this one for sure, but it can be anything else. Oh, maybe I can. There are not so many parts that can fit here. Let's find those that I can put right in here, like this one. This fits nicely. But if there are other parts that have this kind of. Oh, that looks nice as well. It even fits better than this part. What about this one? But this one looks, no, it doesn't look nice. Okay, so there are only two parts, either this one or this one. Uh, and I made the parts in such a way that the uh, texture of the wood doesn't match. So I can't use this hint to solve the puzzle. So maybe this is correct. At least it fits nicely. Let's see other interesting parts. So here we have two kind of a half a spirals. There are not so many parts like this that I can actually use. This one doesn't fit. Uh, are there others? Like, no, this doesn't fit. Not this one. Oh, maybe this one. Check this out. Oh, it looks like it fits nicely, but it creates something weird. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be on top, like something's supposed to be here and it will catch with this part. So let's find a piece that has a corner and that can go here. Not this one, maybe this one. Oh, I found it. I found a piece that fits here nicely. Okay. Oh, and then this one goes here. Oh, that's a huge progress. Okay. Mm, what's next? This fits here and looks like this is the piece that's supposed to be here. 
uh, a little bit tight. I think that I made some mistakes in designing the puzzle. Just if you put one of the lines not straight or a little bit to the side, it won't fit. Okay, I'll, I'm not gonna push it all the way in, maybe later when the puzzle will be assembled all the way. So let's see, there is supposed to be a piece like this that I can probably fit somewhere here, but uh, the issue is that there are not so many side parts left and they don't fit now. Okay. Uh, even though this looks nice, maybe it is not correct. Okay. Let's see what else I can do. I don't think that I have something that I can put here. Maybe there is supposed to be... Oh, maybe this piece. Oh, it fits nicely. Okay. Now it completes the picture here. And now this part goes nicely right here, I guess. Oh, it doesn't fit well. I can probably push it. Okay, if the assembling will be correct, I'll push it later, but for now I'll just leave it here. Ah, my designing skills are awful. Next time I have to check twice before cutting a puzzle. Okay, this part goes here. That definitely goes here. And this is a tricky part, you see? There is supposed to be a part here like, oh, this one. Yeah, definitely I can push all the parts in. Doesn't matter if I can't remove them later, I still can cut another version and fix all the issues. Since probably I'm gonna keep this puzzle. It is quite tricky and quite interesting. I hope the rest parts will fit nicely and we don't have any issues like this goes here. And the last piece fits here nicely. Oh, done. And the puzzle is solved. Okay, the only issue is my designing skills, but I can fix it. And this is a nice puzzle. This puzzle is actually not only fun to solve, but it's also quite practical. I can use it in my kitchen to put something hot on top of it. I think that I have to fix my design and make more of this. Unfortunately, Hexa Spiral Puzzle isn't available in any puzzle shops yet. If any puzzle shop will make some copies and sell them, I will put a link in the video description. And that's it from me for today. If you want to have a decent laser cutter and engraver, buy Zbyru Z40. Link in the video description. Thank you for watching. See you next time.